Hey everyone, Alex from Source Men Studios here, and today I wanted to show you a quick preview of our upcoming terrain building software, Beamdown. Now what you can see on the right hand side here are all of the different sets that we're working on. All of the different sets have different aesthetics and some have different building styles. For example, we're going to look at Grid City. And Grid City is really cool to get you started because it uses quick frames. Quick frames are different shapes that can be placed on the platform to get you started really quick. With the quick frame placed, we just select it and you'll see all these little dots. And these little dots are mount points and each mount point can have something populated onto it. If you hover over, it tells you what kind of thing can be mounted to it. For example, let's click the walls. This selects all of the same walls on your quick frame and allows you to place with a single click all of the walls. You can see we can do the same for corners. Now what I'm going to do is select an individual wall and replace that with a doorway. With that wall selected, you'll see this has its own mount point. This one here, for example, allows you to change the sidings. This one allows you to change the door, and these ones on the side allow you to add a trim. There's even one at the top, which lets you put in spaces for magnets, open lock clips, or in this example, we're gonna leave it blank. With that done, you can now go around and individually change each wall. Some of my favorites are these with insets. And insets allow you to uh, insert a feature within the wall. For example, let's put a big pipe here. Or we'll even add some trims. On this wall, I'm gonna add a low barrier. And this wall, I'm gonna use the black one to add a big fan. If we look inside with the frame selected, you'll see a mount point for the floor. Now this allows us to either leave it blank or by selecting it, you can add an inset. The final stage for a building is to select the frame and choose this mount point here. This either lets you add another frame to build upwards, but I'll select and delete that because we're going to add a roof. With the roof selected, you can do a few things here. You can leave it open or you can add an inset. You can even add walls or barriers, corners, or one of my favorite things to do with roofs is add an extension. So with that building done, you can go back and refine it. or you can export it out as separate sections. For example, the rooftop and the ground floor can be exported as two separate STLs connected together with magnets. Just to give you a quick idea, we can also add in an L-shaped building from the same set. Exactly the same building principles apply. So there you have it. You can see that Beam Down is super quick to use, and we are constantly adding more to the uh, online library of assets, which currently has about 2,000 models on. This is just the quick frame set. We also have a really exciting freeform builder, which I'll show you another time. Stay tuned.